The Shengli Tunnel in Tianshan, Xinjiang, China, is 22.1 kilometers long. It is the throat project of the Wuwei Expressway and the longest tunnel under construction in the world. In February 2023, the problem of water inflow from fissures was encountered during the excavation construction of the exit end of Tianshan Shengli Tunnel. About 200 cubic meters of water are flowing in per hour, and the tunnel boring machine is now in the reverse slope excavation stage, that is, downhill. All the gushing water accumulated in the cutter head, so it was urgent to pump and drain the water quickly and effectively. At that time, the Victory tunnel boring machine had dug 8.5 kilometers from the south to the north of the Tianshan Mountains, and water gushing from the fissures seriously affected the construction efficiency. From the preliminary demonstration, scheme design to the start of construction, and now the tunnel excavation has exceeded the 16-kilometer mark, the construction team has encountered countless stumbling blocks. The Tianshan Mountains are known as the Geological Museum, and the difficulty of the project can be imagined. The person in charge of the construction team used one length, one more, two depths, and five heights to summarize the characteristics of this tunnel, and these are the difficulties they have to overcome. One long means that the single tunnel of the tunnel is about 22.1 kilometers long, which is about the total length of the five Nanjing Yangtze River bridges. It is the longest highway tunnel under construction in the world today. For such a long hole, they have to drill three holes. One many means that there are many fault zones. The entire tunnel has to pass through 16 geological fault zones, making construction extremely difficult. Two depths, one refers to the depth of the shaft with ventilation and other functions. The number two shaft of the tunnel is 706 meters deep, which is nearly 100 meters higher than the Shanghai Tower, the tallest building in China. It is the deepest highway shaft in the world today. The second is that the tunnel is buried deep. The maximum burial depth of the tunnel exceeds 1,100 meters. The greater the burial depth, the higher the probability of problems such as rock bursts, large deformation of soft rock, high temperatures, and high-pressure water inrush. The five highs refer to high geostress, high seismic intensity, high environmental protection requirements, high cold, and high altitude. Among them, the maximum in-situ stress value in the tunnel construction section reaches 21.8 MPA, which is equivalent to a rock the size of a human finger covering and has to bear a weight of 218 kilograms, which is more than 50 times more than the bearing capacity of ordinary rocks. This means that it is very likely that a rock burst will be encountered during construction, producing an amplitude comparable to a magnitude 4 or 5 earthquake. The geological tectonic movement in the construction area itself is relatively strong, with the basic intensity being 8. According to reports, the construction team not only had to overcome the high cold, low oxygen construction environment, but also complex geological conditions. Crossing the fault zone involves extremely high risks such as rock bursts, large deformation of soft rock, and sudden water inrush. However, the tunnel builders at the entrance and exit ends tackled the problems one by one and defeated them one by one. According to reports, the Tianshan Shengli Tunnel is designed as a two-way four-lane separate highway tunnel. If its construction follows the inclined shaft auxiliary construction plan used in previous tunnel construction, the construction period is planned to be 72 months. How to shorten the construction period? The builders proposed the world's first three holes plus four shafts construction plan. 
The three holes are the left and right main holes and the central service hole. The excavation diameter of the two main holes on the left and right is 14 meters, and each is designed with two lanes. The service tunnel in the middle has a diameter of 8.4 meters and will be used as an emergency and rescue channel. In the future to prevent vehicle congestion in the tunnel due to accidents and other reasons. For shafts means digging four shafts at the top of the entire tunnel to achieve longitudinal ventilation, which is equivalent to the breathing system of the tunnel. However, digging a tunnel with two holes is very time-consuming and laborious. Why dig one more hole? Taking into account many factors such as the tunnel topography, geological characteristics, construction period, and post-operation disaster prevention and rescue, the intermediate guide tunnel was excavated using a boring machine. Taking advantage of the rapid construction characteristics of the tunnel boring machine, firstly, it can detect the geology in advance, and secondly, it can provide a working surface for the main tunnel. The two main holes were drilled and blasted. The two processes are combined to achieve long tunnel but short tunnel. Engineers said that the monthly tunneling length of the tunnel boring machine is about 3 to 10 times that of the traditional drill and blast method. Moreover, the two tunnel boring machines work simultaneously from the north and south directions, and then add an auxiliary working surface through the transverse hole to the main hole. This is equivalent to cutting the main hole into multiple sections for simultaneous operation, thus effectively shortening the construction period. Tianshan and Xingli are excavation equipment tailor made by China Communications Construction Company for the Tianshan Xingli Tunnel. The excavation diameter of these two tunnel boring machines is 8.43 meters. Each is 282 meters long and weighs approximately 2,000 tons. More importantly, it can achieve safe, environmentally friendly and efficient tunneling under a variety of world-class complex formations. The designer team of the Tianshan and Xingli Tunnel Boring Machines pioneered the innovative injection molded hard rock tunnel boring machine for ultra-long, cold, high altitude, complex geological conditions, etc. This is a major innovation in the world's excavation equipment field. Innovation in construction methods enables the Tianshan and Xingli to have three different excavation modes and support methods. According to different geological conditions, different excavation modes and support methods can be switched. Under good surrounding rock conditions, the open excavation method can be used. In fracture zones, weak surrounding rock and rock burst strata, the single shield steel formwork injection concrete support excavation mode can be used. In extremely fractured zones, large soft rock deformation and stratum sections with strong rock bursts, the single shield steel segment support excavation mode can be used. The latter two modes are equivalent to enhanced support treatment of bad strata to ensure the safety of personnel and equipment. As a result, the excavation efficiency is greatly improved when facing unfavorable strata such as fault zones. Judging from the previous construction progress, the latter two construction methods are used to cross the fault zone, and approximately 12 meters can be tunneled per day. If the traditional open construction method is used, the excavation can be about 1 or 2 meters per day, and there are still greater safety risks. As a result, the original 72-month construction period will be shortened to 52 months. On November 19, 2023, the cumulative excavation of the left and right main tunnels at the entrance end of Tianshan Shengli Tunnel both exceeded the 7-kilometer mark, laying a solid foundation for the overall advancement of the project. 
The entrance end of Tianshan Shengli Tunnel is located 75 kilometers from Yongfeng Town towards Hoxia. At present, the total excavation of the left main tunnel is 7,260 meters, the right tunnel is 7,010 meters, and the middle guide tunnel is 8,950.5 meters. It is understood that the temperature in the Hoxia Mountains has dropped sharply, and the Tianshan Shengli Tunnel has entered the winter construction period. Tunnel builders have stored a large amount of production materials such as diesel, cement, and steel in advance, as well as daily supplies such as rice, flour, grain, oil, and medicine, as well as thermal supplies. The project department has coordinated with all units and building material suppliers in advance, and dispatched dedicated personnel to guard and escort the construction materials in winter to ensure that construction materials arrive as scheduled and in sufficient quantities. At the same time, the project department also prepared insulation measures for all construction machinery in advance implemented anti-freeze requirements for concrete, the heating temperature of concrete raw materials, and the temperature requirements when concrete comes out of the mixer, and controlled the temperature of concrete entering the mold on site to ensure that the construction quality of each process is up to standard. According to construction arrangements, the Wuwei Expressway is scheduled to be open to traffic in 2025. As the throat project of the Wuwei Expressway, after completion of the Tianshan Shengli Tunnel, it will only take about 20 minutes to cross the Tianshan Mountains, which will open up the transportation barrier in northern and southern Xinjiang. After the Wuwei Expressway is open to traffic, the driving time from Urumqi to Korla will be shortened from about 6 hours to about 3 hours. Let's look forward to the day when the highway is open to traffic. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.